Hey guys, I want to show you how I do the uh, math for evenly dividing um, an edge for splines, so I can evenly space splines along an edge. So I'm building um, it's a little house shape, and I know I want to put splines on the mitered edges uh, to reinforce the corners. And I know that this edge is 5 and 3 eighths. And I'm going to actually talk in eighths for most of this video because it just makes it easier if you convert everything into eighths or sixteenths or whatever instead of trying to convert back and forth. So to figure out how many eighths this is, you go five times eight is forty, so it's forty-three eighths. Okay. So then what I like to do is make a map. Here's the top of the edge and here's the bottom of the edge. And I know I want to do uh, four splines. So there's one, then I'll do one from the bottom. Then I'll do two in the middle. Okay, so there's four splines, and these four splines are each an eighth, each an eighth of an inch thick, so that's four eighths. I'll color those in a little bit. There's a spline, there's a spline, there's a spline. And I know that I want the space in between these middle three, or these middle three spaces to be the same, but on these ends, I want it to be less. Um, and on the top, I want it to be a little bit more than the bottom because the roof overhangs. And the reason I want it less is because I don't want the spline far away from the bottom, and I also don't want it, but I also don't want it too close. So I'm just going to say, let's make this bottom spline a half an inch, half an inch away from the bottom. And actually, let's do that in eighths. That's four eighths. Okay. And I know that this spline here is an eighth of an inch, so this space is 5 eighths. And let's just say, let's just move this down the width of a spline. So that's 5 eighths. And this space here then is 6 eighths. Okay? And so now what I want to do is figure out what, what do I have to divide this into to evenly space those splines. Okay? Well, I know that I've got 43 eighths total on the edge. And I've taken out 6 eighths, and I've taken out 5 eighths, and I have two more splines to take out. Okay? 6, 5, and 2 is 13, and I've got 43 eighths. So that equals 30 eighths. And that ends up just being really easy to divide by 3. I get 10 eighths. Okay? So, this will be 10 eighths, this will be 10 eighths, and this will be 10 eighths. So now what you do is you check your work, okay? You know the gaps between all of these, and you know the width of the splines, and you add them up to see if it adds up to your original 43 eighths. So you know you know you got three splines, or sorry, three gaps that are 10. So that's 30 eighths. And you know you got one that's at five, and you know you got one that's at four, okay? And you know that you have uh, four eighths worth of splines. So 35, 39, 43, eighths. So now you know that your gaps plus the thickness of your splines adds up to the length of your side. And now you can take your workpiece, put a piece of tape along the edge here. So, half inch up from the bottom, do a spline. Then count 10 eighths over from this edge. Well, we're three quarters, so th th going to three quarters is eight eighths, nine eighths, ten eighths. Go ten eighths from this edge, there's eight, nine, ten. Go ten eighths from this edge, there's eight, sorry, there's eight, nine, ten. And then how much is this distance there? It's 5 eighths. So that's exactly how I want my splines laid out. That's how I'm going to cut them right there. And uh, I'll set the fence up for this. I'll cut all four. I'll use this to set the fence up. I'll cut all four. I'll use this to set the fence up. I'll cut all four. I'll use it to set, set the fence up. I'll cut all four. Normally, if I was doing this, 
I wouldn't I would have a square edge over here I wouldn't have this uh, roof line and I would set this I'd cut all four corners flip it to end to end cut all these then I would set the fence for this cut all four corners flip it and cut all four of these but you still have to um, you still have to lay them out evenly even if you even if you have a square edge on both sides so I hope the math helps I hope it's easy to understand thanks